Hello, this is Tony at Tony's Music and Demonstrator of Doodly and Tony PNGs, which is now called Graphical Design, and it's a free Facebook group one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you off with a finished designer. I'm going to explain to you about the parent and child layers and what you can do with them. So this will be a short tutorial for you, but I thought, well, we've got to do it because there are people who don't understand about it properly. So what I'm going to do is start off with a new document, A4, and create that. And I'm going to get some shapes up, like a rectangular shape if I can. There, rectangular shape, put that on, put that in a blue colour then a circle put that in a different colour like red and then a trapezoid and put that in green so for example right now all of these particular layers on the side here all them are parent layers at the moment so if you wanted to make a child layer by putting one of the one of these inside another this is how you do it you go like the trapezoid Put that in the circle and now it's a child layer of the ellipse right so what i'll do is i'll get the move tool and put it over to where the ellipse is and as you can see it's masked other than when it gets to the circle so if you want to do that it's like a mask right and then you can do that and go all the way around like that and change it right like that. now say you wanted the circle to be um, a child layer of the rectangle all you do is take a lot and put it in there like that oops I haven't done it in there like that right so now if I move that up there you will see the circle appear and the circle is a child layer of the rectangle and the trapezoid is a child layer of the circle which means if I move the rectangle the lot would change according to what to do with it right now say you wanted to make one of them have um, say the rectangle you wanted that to have uh, an effect on it so like a style for example so you could have the style like that so it would go on the rectangle because I've clicked on the rectangle now say you didn't want it on the rectangle but you wanted it on over the circle say the ellipse so you want a different style on there and then you want a different style on the trapezoid you click the trapezoid itself and then put that one on like that so you get all the different uh, designs on it right so now say you did want an effect on one of them but not all of them you'd have to p click the particular one say the circle there now you wanted outer shadow on that so let's do radius like that like that can you see that it's got a outer radius on, so it looks like it's coming off the rectangle right but it's not affecting the trapezoid right so now we do something else like outer glow or inner, inner glow where's inner glow there it is do the inner glow as well and put that on as you can see it's affecting the circle but not affecting the trapezoid and it's not affecting the rectangle on the outside so you can do any effects or styles on a particular part by selecting it right and say you wanted to change the opacity on that you can just do the opacity on the one thing like that like so right so all this can be done using these layers as a parent layer which is the rectangle and then the ellipse which is the parent layer of the trapezoid right the, they will move together but they will not change the style except for the part that you're actually clicking on whatever you click on will be the part that gets changed okay so that's how to use parent and child layers i hope this has been useful to you and if so please like and subscribe to townish music thank you very much